learning objectives after studying this chapter students will be able to state the importance of consumer protection briefly explain legal framework for consumer protection in india describe consumer rights in india list out consumer responsibilities briefly describe the ways and means of consumer protection and describe the role and consumer organizations and ngos in protecting consumers interests importance of consumer protection consumer protection is a group of laws and organizations designed to ensure the rights of consumers as well as fair trade competition and accurate information in the marketplace the laws are designed to prevent the businesses that engage in fraud or specified unfair practices from gaining an advantage over competitors importance of consumer protection consumer protection is intended to protect the interests of the consumers and to address the grievances by them the importance of the concept is discussed here provide market information majority of the consumers have no information about quality type price and other marketing facilities many customers buy without product knowledge and this make them suffer losses to organize consumers indian consumers are scattered over a wide geographical area they are not well organized they have a low power and businessmen exploit consumers here we need consumer protection avoid consumer exploitation consumers might be exploited by unscrupulous exploitative and unfair trade practices like defective and unsafe products adulteration false and misleading advertising hoarding black marketing etc consumers need protection against such malpractices of the sellers long term interest of business in the race of competition the businessmen can win and capture a big share in the market only when they are able to satisfy its customers by designing the products keeping in mind the requirements of customers social responsibilities a businessman has social obligations towards various groups and customer is one of the important groups it is responsibility of businessmen to provide quality goods at reasonable price consumer protection guides businessmen to provide social responsibilities moral or ethical justification the ethics or a moral value practiced by the businessman adds glory to businessmen in today's environment business without ethical value is not more than a criminal activity and no civil society can tolerate and allow the existence of unethical business legal protection to consumers number of laws and regulations have been developed in india to protect the interest of the consumers important among them are discussed below the consumer protection act 1986 The Consumer Protection Act 1986 seeks to protect and promote the interests of consumers. The act provides safeguards to consumers against defective goods, deficient services, unfair trade practices, and other forms of their exploitation. The Contract Act 1982 The act lays down the conditions in which the promises made by parties to a contract will be binding on each other. The act also specifies the remedies available to parties in case of breach of contract. The Sale of Goods Act 1930. The act provides some safeguards and reliefs to the buyers of the goods in case the goods purchased do not comply with express or implied conditions or warranties. The Essential Commodities Act 1955 The act aims at controlling production, supply and distribution of essential commodities, checking inflationary trend in their prices and ensuring equal distribution of essential commodities. The Prevention of Food Adulteration Act 1954 
the Act aims to check adulteration of food articles and ensure their purity so as to maintain public health. The Standards of Weights and Measures Act 1976 the provisions of this Act are applicable in case of those goods which are sold or distributed by weight, measure or number. It provides protection to consumers against the malpractice of underweight or undermeasure. The Trademarks Act 1999 This Act has repealed and replaced the Trade and Merchandise Marks Act 1958. The Act prevents the use of fraudulent marks on products and thus provides protection to the consumers against such products. Consumer Rights The Consumer Protection Acts ensure some basic rights to the consumers. The important among them are discussed below. Right to safety means right to be protected against the marketing of goods and services which are hazardous to life and property. The purchased goods and services availed of should not only meet their immediate needs but also fulfill long-term interests. Right to be informed means right to be informed about the quality, quantity, potency, purity, standard and price of goods so as to protect the consumer against unfair trade practices. Consumer should insist on getting all the information about the product or service before making a choice or a decision. Right to choose means right to be assured wherever possible of access to variety of goods and services at competitive price. In case of monopolies, it means right to be assured of satisfactory quality and service at a fair price. It also includes right to basic goods and services. Right to be heard means that consumers' interests will receive due consideration at appropriate forums. It also includes right to be represented in various forums formed to consider the consumer's welfare. Right to seek redressal means right to seek redressal against unfair trade practices or unscrupulous exploitation of consumers. It also includes right to fair settlement of the genuine grievances of the consumer. Right to consumer education means the right to acquire the knowledge and skill to be an informed consumer throughout life. Ignorance of consumers, particularly of rural consumers, is mainly responsible for their exploitation. They should know their rights and must exercise them. Only then real consumer protection can be achieved with success. Ways and Means of Consumer Protection There are many means to protect consumer interest in India. Some important among them are discussed here. Business Associations The Associations of Trade, Commerce and Business like Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce of India, FICI and Confederation of Indian Industries, CII, have laid down their code of conduct to protect customers. Consumer Awareness a consumer who is well informed about his rights and the reliefs available to him would be in a position to raise his voice against any unfair trade practices or unscrupulous exploitation. Consumer Organizations Consumer organizations play an important role in educating consumers about their rights and providing protection to them. Government the government can protect the interests of the consumers by enacting various legislations. The legal framework in India encompasses various legislations which provide protection to consumers. Redressal Agencies under Consumer Protection Act For the redressal of consumer grievances, the Consumer Protection Act provides for setting up of a three-tier enforcement machinery at the district state and the national levels. District Forum The District Forum consists of a president and two other members. A complaint can be made to appropriate district forum when the compensation claimed does not exceed rupees 20 lakhs. State Commission Each state commission consists of a president and not less than two other members. 
a complaint can be made to the state forum when the compensation claimed exceeds rupees 20 lakhs but does not exceed rupees 1 crore national commission the national commission consists of a president and at least four other members one of whom should be a woman a complaint can be made to the national forum when the compensation claimed exceeds rupees 1 crore summary let us summarize what we have learned in this module consumer protection is a group of laws and organizations specially made to prevent the rights of consumers maintain fair trade process and deliver the right information at the right time in the marketplace consumer protection is intended to protect the interest of the consumers and to address the grievances by them the Consumer Protection Act 1986 is especially made in order to protect and promote the interests of customers. The Sale of Goods Act provides crucial safeguards and reliefs to the product's buyers in case the products purchased do not maintain the expressed conditions or warranties. The Trademarks Act 1999 prevents against the fraudulent use of trademarks on products. The Standards of Weights and Measures Act 1976 provides protection to consumers against the malpractice of underweight or undermeasure of goods. The Consumer Protection Act ensures some basic rights to the consumers. Right to safety. Right to be informed. Right to choose. Right to be heard. Right to seek redressal right to consumer education different ways and means of consumer protection are as follows business associations consumer awareness consumer organizations district forum redressal agencies under consumer protection act state and national commission